A smart intersection is a safer intersection. It's an intersection that is connected to smart city systems and provides the city with enhanced capabilities they can deploy to improve traffic control. These powerful emerging technologies can help keep vulnerable road users safe, help manage traffic congestion, help keep transit vehicles on schedule, help first responders get to their destinations faster, and reduce harmful greenhouse gas emissions. One of the important things, that, for example, at the City of Ottawa is we have 1,200 signalized traffic intersections and safety is paramount for us. So uh, with the cars of the future and as technology grows, the ability to uh, understand how to improve the safety of vulnerable road users is really important. The Safe Smart Intersections project is really focusing on protecting vulnerable road users by using technology to detect vulnerable road users as they move through the intersection and coordinate their movement with advanced alerting and notifications to the vehicles surrounding those pedestrians and cyclists. What we're doing is we're helping Transport Canada strategically to provide enhanced road safety. So at the highest level, that's what they're trying to achieve. Of course, we're doing this very carefully. And of course, we're also doing this on the heels of a very successful trial in the living lab. Our project in particular is looking at machine vision sensors, ITS sensors, so that includes things like camera, LIDAR, radar, thermal, um, and detecting the actions and monitoring pedestrians around uh, intersections. We then broadcast that safety information over um, DSRC and cellular to vehicles that can receive it. So then the vehicles can use the information to make um, decisions. Um, and we're also going to be looking at, we know not every vehicle today is, uh, is outfit with, you know, the integrated onboard units that can accept these messages. So we'll be looking at other modes of transmitting that safety information to vehicles. So um, through cellular phones and, and displays and as well by roadside display. The duration of this project will span across nine months. So we'll be able to touch multiple seasons as we go on. Um, this is where the road sensing technology comes in, uh, whether that be snow, sleet, rain, or just sunshine. We'll see how these sensors react to different weather conditions. As we go along, as findings come in, improvements can be made in an iterative manner so that by the time the project concludes, advancements can actually take place in the technology and in the learnings and findings. To me, the, the key thing is unlocking the data that sits in the city and making it available for actional use. That process of connecting vehicles to smart city infrastructure and using the available live, real-time data is extremely valuable. This testing is extremely important, so important that the data from this test will lead to recommendations and also find it itself into the University of Warwick's safety pool so that everyone can actually tap into and make this market safe. We are glad to see our earlier work on autonomous vehicle governance being used in joint ventures. Ottawa's Smart Safe Intersection for Vulnerable Road Users project is a great example of the power of actionable data gathering, knowledge brokerage, and continuous iteration among actors from around the world. Another really critical component of the project is we're starting to introduce security and security monitoring of the infrastructure. So in partnership with BlackBerry, um, their Certicom division, we'll be deploying a secure credential management system or an SCMS into the roadside unit and the onboard unit, enabling um, the vehicle to uh, do that secure handshake with the intersection, ensuring that the, um, the information is secure, encrypted, and, uh, and actionable. We're taking the latest and greatest of our artificial intelligence technologies, our wireless technologies. We're really stretching our technical abilities. So what we're here to do is mature our technology platforms even further and take insights and learn uh, all our lessons from all the test activities that we perform here. This project is a great way to test and validate technology, not just ours alone, but being able to work with so many different providers up on one pole in a public test bed to really validate that real world experience is vital. We have a lot of different stakeholders involved and unifies kind of the mission and, and the goal for all of us to find ways to, to solve the problem differently. Through this collaborative environment that we have, we can actually showcase and demonstrate you know, all these different technologies together and see 
what are actually the advantages of these technologies and how these technologies can be eventually deployed in a larger scale within the urban environment. Ottawa is, is already sort of internationally recognized as the R&D capital for communication technologies, mobility technologies, and these are at the core of the work that we do. So anything that we can do to continue to showcase and advance these capabilities, I think is good for all of us. Really what excites me is the ability to change the world. And uh, here at Area XO and with a partnership of all the different uh, and, uh, project partners, we really have the opportunity to start to do that. And this is only the beginning. This is only the starting point. And this technology is going to drive us through and drive forward our future for a safer and more sustainable way for our cities to operate.